Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel, Pursuing Peace. And in today's video, we are going to share with you our homeschool routine with four little ones. So stay tuned. I'm five. <laughs> For those of you who are new, my name is Dina and I am a homeschooling mom of four kiddos, five and under, and today we're just going to go ahead and invite you along um, on our homeschooling day. It's not going to be a full day in life because it's just going to be our homeschooling routine. Um, one of my subscribers, Catalina Gascon, <laughs> I'm sorry if I butchered that, but um, she asked to see our homeschool routine and that's something that I've been wanting to film for you guys for a while. Um, and how we do it with with a bunch of little kids. And so um, so I didn't think I was gonna be able to do that because we are in the process of moving, but I think I can try and attempt to do that today. So hopefully this will be a good display of how we do schooling on an everyday basis. So I've already, so it's already kind of late morning, early afternoon. We tend to do things pretty late in the day, but I don't really follow a schedule per se, I follow like a routine. So, um, you know, whenever we get our routine going, it usually, for our homeschool, we usually take maybe anywhere from two to two and a half hours. And it's not all of my kids sitting down for two and a half hours because they are small, so they cannot do that for very long. Um, so, but you'll see how I kind of break that up for them. And I'm gonna be completely transparent with you guys. We usually do this in our PJs. <laughs> I figured today we would kind of get dressed up for y'all, um, but just so you know, we are very relaxed. I've tried the whole like getting up, getting ready and going, but since my kids are so small, I actually have to go in and either pick their clothes or actually get them ready. I found that it's really hard and it stresses me out way too much. And so we usually just do it in our PJs, but today I thought it'd be a fun thing to just kind of all get ready to go. So that way y'all didn't have to sit there and watch us do our schoolwork in our pajamas. So first off, I wanted to show you kind of where we did our schooling. For the most part, I hope you can see this, for the most part, this is our dining room table and we do our schooling here um, and you'll see how that works. Uh, we do have a little bit of a circle time that we do um, in our office or our classroom and I'll show you a little bit of that. But so far what we've done for the day is we've had breakfast, I've cleaned up, I've done my cleaning routine and I'm, I hope to do a cleaning video for you guys also so that way you can see what we, how I do that and kind of keep the house tidy, not spotless, but tidy <laughs> and keep it below the overwhelming marker for me. So yeah, so here we go. Adeline. It's school time! <laughs> yeah, it's school time. Go get your mats and go sit down. Go, go, school, yes, go sit down. <laughs> oh, she, Aubrey's gonna help you. Okay, go ahead and get her mat. Ready? Are you crisscross? Are you crisscross? Eyes on me. Eyes on me. Put your hands together. Put your hands together. <gasps> Quietly. Quietly. All right. So, Solomon, can you pray for us, please? So if you've seen my preschool day in the life video, then nothing really drastically has changed in our circle time other than we have added a new person on. Um, so my little Adeline is joining us for circle time and that's just been so fun. But we do prayer first and then we do Pledge of Allegiance. Sometimes we'll do a Bible song depending on whether or not we did that or earlier that morning. Pretty much do our calendar every day and I let them come and put on the days. So. 
Um, I got this from Confessions of a Homeschooler where it says today and I added it onto our calendar. Those are just Velcro strips. I used to tell them which day it was and where to put it, but now I'm just, I start with Solomon and I tell them, okay, Solomon, today is Monday. Can you find Monday for me on the calendar? And he goes and he'll find Monday. And then based on that, Aubrey will do yesterday and then Abigail will do tomorrow. And then Adeline, of course, cannot be left behind. So I let her put on the actual date, like the number itself. And she's been doing really good. She used to just kind of put it anywhere she wanted. <laughs> but now she's putting it on the square that it belongs. Everybody together. One, two, three. We count in English, in Spanish, in a different language, and then backwards. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve. Muy bien. Itchi, ni, san, chi, go, roco, si, chi, hachi, q. Good. Nine. Eight, seven, six, let me hear you. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> All right. Adeline, what's that? Ah, good. What's this? F. This one, Solomon. Good. Good. What about this one? Good. Eh. Good. What's this? Good. Good. This is one of the kids' favorite activities. Is It's just flashcards. And I mentioned this in my preschool day in the life video also. Um, but I got this idea from JDA. She's another homeschooling mama here on YouTube. And it's super simple. They just go through and we do the sounds of each letter and they take turns. And that's really how I teach them letter recognition and letter sounds before they even get into pre-K. So that way they have a firm foundation and then everything else is just kind of extra and bonus and just fun for them. Yeah, what about this one, Solomon? Because this is your letter. Good. What is this one, Adeline? And, and everybody falls asleep. Where does Australia go? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Good, baby. Okay, sit down. Continent now? Yeah. Africa, good. Is that continent? Uh, Europe. Europe, good. North America. North America. All right, South America. Where does South America go? America. South America. Oh, that's not it. No. Nope. Where does it go? There it is. Good. <laughs> okay, sit down. All right, Solomon, come on up. So this little felt map I got at Target. We are also doing classical conversations, and this year they were learning their oceans. So I just made little felt ocean names. I still have to point them out, but this is definitely something that will help them because this is how they learn the continents. So I'm sure that the oceans will just come with time. All right, everybody, put your mat away and go sit on the couch, please. <laughs> So we finished circle time, so now what I do is I let them watch 
some G videos, maybe two or three of those. Um, and that gives me time to clean up the table if I need to from breakfast or whatever. Um, and then set up Aubrey's school. She's the first one that I spend time doing schooling with. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Okay, and now what I usually do is I will go through here and see, okay, what do I need to get for the day? So if I need to get, you know, the letter G stamp, then I will go and get that. Or, you know, if I need to get some sort of a book that we're gonna read or anything like that, so that way I have everything right there, right next to her once we start school. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now while they're watching their videos. I use this time also to get snacks ready for my little one because she will either go play with the big kids and that'll work or she will need some stuff to do or some stuff to eat. So I use this time to kind of prep some activities for her so that way just in case she doesn't want to go play with the big kids then she can either eat some snacks or she can play with whatever activity I have set out for her. So I have bins for each day of the week. She doesn't usually go through all of them, but they are set aside activities that she doesn't normally play with. So they're like brand new activities. And so that way I can have them ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the Monday one and set that out here. So that way I have it if I need it. I wanted to show you this other little bin that I have here, this little basket. This has everything that we use on a regular basis that I don't wanna have to go back to the schoolroom to get every day so like here we have like our Bible our language arts readers the wreck and wreck for the math <laughs> level K um, and just some different handwriting books for the kids um, I usually store her letter of the week Aubrey's letter of the week binder right here also and then we use this for beautiful feet books and this is actually just my medication don't look at that <laughs> <laughs> um, and then some fly swatters for the pre-k we're not using those right now but I just kind of leave them out here so that way they don't get mixed up with the real fly swatters so all of their tablets and the chargers for them and everything are over there in that basket so yeah so I have this here it doesn't look like super pretty but it's accessible and I am able just to just come over here and grab it see it's just right over here it's not way in the classroom which is across the house so yeah So in here I just have some like sticker, some stickers in here, some alphabet stickers that are the puffy stickers so that way she can take them off easily. And I usually just give her a piece of paper. Um, we tried doing these, the lacing cards, and they just, she just wasn't quite ready for that yet. So I don't know. Sometimes I'll take these out. I got these at the Dollar Tree um, where she just needs a water brush. It already has the paint on here. All of these little dots are just paint. And so it's not going to make a whole lot of mess. This she actually really likes. It's a little puzzle I got at the Dollar Tree. Um, she can do that pretty well. And then some alphabet, just kind of alphabet book that she can look through. So yeah, so I'm just gonna set this out for her and then we will, um, I'm not really sure why I have this out. <laughs> but I'm gonna set this out for her and it, it just in case I need it. So I just have some goldfish and some pretzels. I usually give her fruit too, but we have run out of fruit and I ordered groceries, but I, my husband won't pick them up until later today. But I have this out just in case she wants this instead of playing, and that way I'm not spending too much time trying to wrangle her um, because I want to spend time with Aubrey on her schoolwork. I also get myself a little snack, a little snack. I don't go through the whole thing, but <laughs> just some water and some crackers or, you know, sometimes I'll get myself some fruit or some just other stuff. Um, but again, we're, this is the day that we <laughs> don't have any groceries. So this is what I've got on hand just because I'm pregnant. And so usually around this time, I am already starting to get hungry. So this is what I got for myself. <laughs> Oh, 
All right, it's Mama Aubrey time, so you big kids can go play, okay? Yeah, a little snack. You want a cracker? Okay, all right, come on. Pretzels. <laughs> so she'll just be sitting there for a little bit as I do school with Aubrey. What number, you did you just write the number nine? Good job. She traced it. I don't know if you can see that, but she traced it. So good, all right, well let's keep going. So we're having Mama Aubrey time and we're gonna do your school work, right? What letter are we working on? Letter G. Okay, and so usually I just have her, and she has crackers, yes. So usually we just do this for about 20 minutes or so, right? So I just school with her, spend time with her for about 20 minutes. The other two kids are off playing. We've got our little one right over here. I set a timer on our Alexa and she's gonna let me know when our time is done. Right? Yep. Yep. <laughs> Did you sort everything out? <laughs> Jeez. Good job. Three. <laughs> What's next? Four. <laughs> so let's find the letter G. So there's B, C, turn the page, where's G? Where's G? <gasps> there's G! Okay, so let's read the letter G, okay? Okay, so Alexa rang, so my 20 minutes with Aubrey is up, and now I'm gonna go ahead and set up the table so we can do some handwriting all together. Okay, so now while they're doing their handwriting, I usually give them about 10 minutes or so, 10, 15 minutes to do that, I will make them a snack. And so that way they have a snack in the middle of the day. And with the little one, what I did with her is I put her down for a nap. So she is napping right now. She'll nap in the morning for about an hour or so. Sometimes she won't nap, sometimes she won't sleep. But she's laying in her bed and she's resting. So we do handwriting and then it'll be Solomon's turn for school time. There's a whole flowers in, in the jar. Yeah, <laughs> I like your flowers. And Aubrey normally joins us, and this is her handwriting. I've got just some handwriting sheets here for her, some dry erase. Um, but sometimes she just wants to eat, and that's fine, because she's done with her school, so she can do whatever she wants. <laughs> So Solomon sometimes finishes his one sheet of handwriting faster than the 10 minute marker. So then we just go right into his doing his language arts. Right, Bubs? His green book, right? <laughs> yeah. He's excited about that. And Abby, since she's in first grade, so she's doing, she'll do one page front and back and then she can go play for as long as it takes us to finish Solomon's school.
So we should be grateful for the things that we have. A bed. Like a bed. Oh, what happens if we didn't have a tub? Then, then we won't take a bath. Yeah. And bugs will eat and, us. And then what would happen? Bugs will eat us. What? <laughs> <laughs> then why did Abby say that? I don't know. Because <laughs> she's like being silly. <laughs> so we can be grateful for everyday things like a bed, no, a tub, no, no, a table, no, so we can eat yummy no, dinner. Can, what yeah. happens if we do not have maps? The lesson today was super short and super easy, so Solomon has already finished. I think we finished in like less than 10 minutes, so, <laughs> and that's fine. I usually just have him do one lesson. He's four and a half, so I don't want to keep him longer than he needs to be. So with The Good and the Beautiful, they have mini books, but they don't always call to read the mini books at the end of the lesson. So at the end of each lesson, we will read one of the beginner books, box A. We'll read some sort of book, whether it's the mini book for the lesson or we'll read one of these books, um, which he really loves. Do you like these books, Pops? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we come and read our little books here on the couch because it's just nice and cozy, right? Yeah. <laughs> nice and cozy. And sometimes Aubrey will join us while, and she'll listen to the story while Bubs reads because Abby's still working on her stuff so she doesn't have anyone to play with right now. So we're going to let her just join us in our book reading, right? Are you going to be quiet? Are you going to listen? Yeah, okay. I'm going to listen. Okay, turn your listening ears on. Good. All right, here we go. Okay, so now it's Abby's turn to do school, and we will do 30 minutes of language arts and then do 30 minutes of math. And again, with her, if she finishes the lesson before 30 minutes, then we just stop wherever the lesson stops. If she doesn't finish at the 30 minute mark, then I don't continue, I don't push on, we just save the rest of that lesson for the next day. Um, because an hour is about as long as I wanna keep her sitting here. She's very good at sitting still, but, she is also five years old. So normally Solomon and Aubrey go play. Uh, today he asked if he could do stamps, so I'm letting him do some stamps. And he was cutting earlier, and so was Aubrey. You can see her little elephant that she cut out. Um, but now Aubrey's off playing on her own, and Solomon is here, and Abby is starting oh. doing her school, yay. Baby Adeline is still asleep. So we are going to do 30 minutes of math. Okay, while Abby is doing her bonus activity for um, level K math, Bubs, or Solomon, is still over here doing his stamps. When he gets to doing something, he can sit for quite a while and do it. Right, Bubs? Are you having fun? Yeah, and look, I'm making some stamps. Some stamps, yeah, a, all your C, letters. And, 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 and Q. Yeah. And Aubrey is over here. What are you playing with, baby? The magnet tiles. The magnet tiles. This isn't something that is just kind of out all the time. So when I do pull them out, it's always a fun activity for them. All right, well have fun. So Adeline is still asleep. I usually only let her stay asleep for about an hour because if I let her sleep longer than that, then she doesn't take her second nap with everybody else in the afternoon. So I'm probably gonna wake her up here pretty soon and we'll see what we do with her at that point. <laughs> okay, and Abby, we finished her math and we're about to start doing her language arts for 30 minutes. Solomon is still over here with his stamps and his snacks. What is that? Quasg. Quasg. <laughs> and Aubrey is over here like a queen. <laughs> she asked if she could watch some Coco Melon, which is a YouTube channel that I let them watch. It's got fun little nursery rhyme songs and stuff. Sorry about the mess, you guys. She asked if she could watch it, so I said, okay. And I don't like for them to be watching a lot of TV, but I figured 30 minutes of her just watching this. She was doing good playing by herself, so now she can do this for about 30 minutes or so while I finish up school with Abigail. What are you doing? 
<laughs> Pretty. So I woke Adeline up and I let her come over here and play with some magnet tiles. So part of her lesson is to do some shared reading. So I'm gonna do a little read aloud with her. It's St. George and the Dragon. And this is something that we got from the library and it goes with our Classical Conversations week that we're on. We're on week four at this point. So I'm just gonna read this to her for about 10 minutes or so is what they recommend. Okay, so the book calls to do some artwork. So we got one of these art sheets out of her little notebook that I made for her. And I have a separate video, I'll link that above so that way you can check this out and see what I put in here for her to go along with the Good and the Beautiful's language arts and math. And so it just says right here to paint orange and yellow flower in, in a brown pot. So these are part of her spelling words, and so that's kind of how they're incorporating some of the spelling words in here. So after she does that, she is going to label what color they are. So she remembers a little bit how to spell those. And then Aubrey heard that we were painting, so she wanted to come in out here and paint. She always wants to paint. Yeah, I always want to paint when I hear Abby painting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and now my little one is in here in the, with the TV. <laughs> And now Solomon is over here. <laughs> he discovered these post-it notes and a highlighter and he's just drawing little things like hearts and some of his little toys that he's got. And this is, I think this is a self-portrait. Is that you, Solomon, right here? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. So sometimes, yeah, I have um, like different activities for them to do. But a lot of the time I just kind of let them go and play and discover and try to just figure out what they want to do on their own and so it's really neat it's really neat to see some of the things that they come up with and just kind of play and they're really small right now and so I can't wait to see what things they come up with later on too when they get a little bit some older lines. some lines good Okay, so while they're doing all of that, I'm gonna take this time to start getting lunch ready. And today we're gonna do something super easy. We're just gonna do mac and cheese because like I said earlier, we are out of a lot of groceries. So um, I have ordered them, which is wonderful. If you have not used Walmart grocery pickup, it is wonderful. I just ordered them in the morning and my husband picks them up on the way home from work. And it's just amazing. I don't have to get all the kids out and take them all grocery shopping or do anything like that. And so it's been really, really a huge blessing for us. So yeah, so we're just going to go ahead and do that. And then we're going to have lunch. And sorry about my mess back here, you guys. But I use a lot of these cabinets and the cabinets down here at the bottom to store all of their homeschooling supplies. Um, again, because I just don't want to be going back and forth to the different rooms. So I like to have everything kind of close to where we're actually having school. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am happy to answer any questions or anything like that that you guys have. Let me know in the comments down below and leave me a comment and let me know if this was helpful and also let me know your routine because I'm always looking for ways to streamline our routine a little bit better and looking for ways to kind of not have to use the TV. I really don't like using television or screens or any sort of thing like that but we're gonna have another one soon and so I'm always looking for more suggestions on how to do homeschooling with everybody being so tiny. Don't forget to subscribe and when you do subscribe don't forget to hit the little bell icon so that well, you know whenever new videos pop up. All right, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this. We'll see y'all later. Bye.